బ్రహ్మకుమారీస్ ఆధ్యాత్మిక పరులకు పరిచయం అక్కర్లేని సంస్థ శతాబ్దాలుగా శివతత్వాన్ని ప్రపంచమంతా ప్రచారం చేస్తోంది బ్రహ్మకుమారీ సంస్థ అటువంటి విశిష్ట సంస్థ నుంచి ఈ కోటి దీపోత్సవ వేదికపై తమ సందేశాన్ని అందించేందుకు విచ్చేశారు బ్రహ్మకుమారీస్ దిది జయంతి గారు మీ అందరి కరతాళ ధ్వనుల మధ్య వారిని వేదికపైకి ఆహ్వానిస్తూ ఈ కోటి దీపోత్సవ ప్రాంగణాన తమ సందేశాన్ని అందించవలసిందిగా భక్తిపూర్వకంగా కోరుతున్నాం వ్యక్తిగత క్రమశిక్షణ సామాజిక ధర్మ పరిరక్షణే ధ్యేయంగా భక్తి టీవీ కోటి దీపోత్సవ మహాయజ్ఞం ఆవిర్భవించింది మా ఉద్దేశం ఇదే మన ధర్మం మన సదాచారం మన వ్యక్తిగత క్రమశిక్షణ ఇవన్నీ కూడా మనందరికీ అలవడాలని మనందరం కూడా నిత్యం ఈ ధర్మ మార్గంలో పయనించాలని దేశం నలుమూల నుంచి విచ్చేస్తున్నటువంటి అనేక అనేక పీఠాధిపతులు ఆధ్యాత్మికవేత్తలు అలాగే స్పిరిచువల్ గురువుస్ ద్వారా మీ అందరికీ కూడా వ్యక్తిత్వ వికాసానికి సంబంధించిన అనేక అనేక మంచి విషయాలను పంచుకోవడం జరుగుతోంది నవవిధ భక్తి మార్గాలలో శ్రవణ భక్తి కూడా చాలా ముఖ్యమైంది అంటే శ్రద్ధగా వినడం అందరూ కూడా ఇక్కడ వేదిక మీద మనతో అనేక అనేక ఆధ్యాత్మిక విషయాలు పంచుకుంటున్నారు ఆధ్యాత్మిక వర్యులు వారు చెప్పేటువంటి నాలుగు మంచి విషయాల ద్వారా మన వ్యక్తిత్వాన్ని వికసింపచేసుకుందాం ప్రారంభించవలసిందిగా మనవి శాంతి శాంతి ఓం శాంతి ఇఫ్ వీ కెన్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఓం శాంతి ఇన్ దాట్ స్టేజ్ ఇన్ విచ్ ఓం ఐ యామ్ శాంతి ది ఇన్నర్ బీయింగ్ ద సోల్ అ బీయింగ్ ఆఫ్ పీస్ and all my brothers and sisters who are here just now can experience peace within one moment congratulations to the organizers for hosting this amazing beautiful event where we are celebrating the igniting of lights the one above the supreme being the supreme soul param pita paramatma is the one who is the eternal light the one whose light never ends the one whose light is forever and that supreme being comes and ignites the lights of all these souls who are here today but also all the souls of the world because the eternal light is the light of knowledge the ocean of knowledge the supreme being is the light of truth this is why they talk about satyam shivam sundaram the one who is shiva kalyanakari the benefactor is also the one who is ultimate truth and he is also the one whose light is the most beautiful of all here you have many lights that are decorating this place but the light of god is the most beautiful light of all because that light is the light of love the light of truth the light of purity the light of compassion the light of forgiveness the light of joy the light of bliss and so 
God comes to teach us Raj Yoga so that we can connect with that Supreme Being. Atma, the soul, is a sparkling star, a point of light here in the center of the forehead. And the Supreme Soul, the Supreme Being, is also the infinitesimal point of light for the one who radiates infinite light, the one whose light is able to transform this world from Kali Yuga into Satyug. And when we souls connect with that Supreme Being, Shiva, then that Supreme Being is able to give us the same qualities that God has. They say that we have been created in the image of God. And so every human soul connected with God experiences that light of truth and purity so that we can be transformed from our current Tamo Pradhan state to our original Sato Pradhan stage. God is the one who is the mother, the one who gives us infinite love. God is also the Supreme Father, the one who gives us a very special property, the property of happiness. God is also the one who is our Supreme Teacher, that eternal light has eternal knowledge and comes to ignite the light of the soul so that we also are able to receive from the Supreme Teacher all wisdom, all knowledge, the knowledge of the self so that there's self-realization, the knowledge of the Creator, who He is, but also the knowledge of the whole world cycle and how the cycle moves from Satyu through to Treta, through to Dwapur to Kaliyug. Where do you think we are now in terms of the world cycle? Probably you will agree with me when I say that we are now in Kaliyug, the era of darkness when there is Tamopradhanta. But God, the Supreme Light, transforms the darkness of Kaliyug so that Kaliyug is able to finish and Satyug is able to come. So the Supreme Light is the one who's able to transform darkness, transform darkness and bring about the day once more. Our good fortune is to know that we are at this period of transition when through our connection with the Divine we are able to move from Kaliyug into Satyug. But in order to do this, we need to have that link of love with the Divine and experience all our relationships with God as mother and father and teacher a friend, a friend who is always available for us, but also the Satguru, the one who can lead us to dark, from darkness to light, the one who is the one guiding us to salvation, giving us the power to become pure and return to our sweet home, the world of infinite light, which is God's home, and our home also. And from that home, we again begin the cycle of Jivan Mukti. From Mukti, we come into Jivan Mukti, the period of Satyug. So this is that very critical period in which God actually comes into the human world to finish unrighteousness and to establish truth and righteousness once again. And so we are very fortunate 
that because God has so much love for all of us, God actually leaves his home in the supreme world and comes down into the human world so that he is able to play that role and experience, give us the experience of all relationships with that one. Just consider that infinitesimal point of light is also the one who has infinite light, the one whose light reaches across all three worlds. And so what I suggest, we have a few minutes in which we experience what is yoga? What is that union, that communication with the divine in which we are able to experience all the treasures that God wants to give us? When God sees that we are impure and in distress and unhappy, out of love and compassion, God enters this world so that then we can again become pure and subtle pradhan by igniting the light within and through that then yes we can help God in the task of establishing satyug the kingdom of truth the kingdom of righteousness once again so let's experience for just a few moments that connection with the divine I will speak my own thoughts and invite you to follow these ideas in silence. So just for a few moments, those who are able to be quiet and silent, just let all the sound be merged and experience that stillness that God can give us. I come to the awareness of the inner being, the soul. I experience the silence, the peace that is the original state of the soul itself. And in this awareness, I connect with the divine. Parampita Paramatma Shiv Jyoti Swarup Nirakar The one from whom I'm able to receive the light of peace the light of love light of ఆశీస్సులు అందించిన బ్రహ్మకుమారి స్థితి జయంతి గారికి నమస్సులు తెలియజేసుకుంటున్నాం